Hello everyone, and this is my first video after my return from the EVO Fighting Games Championship, and uh, basically it's going to be saying what's going to happen now, and what do I owe you guys in, in this sense? Well, obviously last week I wasn't able to get to uh, TNA Impact and NXT in the terms of reviewing it. Uh, I, I feel like uh, releasing a video for either one of those now would be a little bit late in, in that sense of everything. So I'll probably skip on actually making those separate videos. Maybe I glance over everything on my next reviews for uh, TNA Impact and NXT itself, which those will be coming this week. Obviously, I've already watched Monday Night Raw as well uh, at this time, and I will be reviewing that very soon, and that should be released uh, to go, uh, released to you guys very soon as well. I also plan on doing something with the um, with the dra uh, with the draft, uh, whether it be an actual review of SmackDown. I want to start actual SmackDown reviews next week, but um, I might have some talk about the draft and how I felt uh, the WWE draft went in every shape or in every way that, at least in my own personal opinions, out went. Um, and there was a lot of other stuff that I ended up missing uh, throughout the uh, entire time, at least WWE-wise. Uh, I, I heard the news while I was out there about Brock Lesnar potentially, uh, they say potentially, which means he probably did, fail a drug test. Uh, fail a drug test uh, for performance-enhancing drugs or at least something against the anti-doping uh, agency for the UFC. So that has a lot of implications down the road for like the SummerSlam match and everything like that. What will WWE do with it? Uh, what will UFC do with it? Um, basically, like if it's completely true, which more than likely it is, um, it, I mean, you got to give the benefit of the doubt there, but most of these tests have like never really been wrong all that often, but, you know, that could be uh, one case here. I mean, I guess you go with the innocent until proven guilty aspect of it. You have one pot potential failed drug test. What's well, going to trickle down there? Are they retesting it? What are they doing with that uh, in every sense of the word there? But, like, what does this mean for the SummerSlam match? What does it mean for this? What does it mean for that? And, like, a, a bunch of other extra stuff to go along with it. Uh, but what else do I owe you guys? Oh, yes. It probably won't happen this week with 8-Bit Beatdown actually happening, but I'm going to have to do a double Call of Duty session for you guys in the terms of streaming it at some point in time, uh, since I didn't get to it last week as well. It was one of those things like, I want to do this. Oh, I've got to pack. i got to pack. i got to get ready. i got to get going. Uh, the other thing that I owe you guys, in a sense, um, as well, and I do have the videos for it, but I don't know how I want to put it together. Do I want to put them up there as separate videos, one after another, or do I want to put them all together? But I got a good chunk of Street Fighter V from Evo with all the Arizona guys. And I also got another good chunk of Killer Instinct with the Arizona guys in there. Uh, I didn't have any of my matches recorded because, well, didn't really care about that about that portion. I was trying to get everybody else as much as possible. So we had a, I have a bunch of guys that are from the AZ area on Friday that were playing Street Fighter uh, and a bunch of guys from Killer Instinct on Saturday to go along with it. So I got a bunch of those videos. I just got to determine how I, uh, whether or not I'm going to put them all together as one long video uh, or two, you know, two longer videos, one for Street Fighter, one for Killer Instinct, or am I going to put them up there separately and uh, for a separate viewing to go along with it. So we'll see how that goes. I hopefully will have that done by the end of the week. Uh, be warned about that, though. Uh, since it's not like the typical recordings here, like where I have my capture card and uh, the... Uh, <clears throat> and I also have the uh, microphone to go along with it. Uh, this is just... an actual handy cam. This is not a uh, matter of fact I got it right next to me. It's all done off of this guy. So it and I did not have a tripod with me to go along with it. So it's gonna be shaky cam, so bear warn on that. Uh on that side of everything. Uh I have already done 
the Tuesday stream for this week. I was actually up for that yesterday, and me and Daniel and uh, Steve Gannon ended up streaming DOA and then KOF afterwards, and uh, KOF a little bit after that. And we'll I'll try to get the KOF stuff up to you guys as soon as possible to go along with it. So. With that being said, like there's a lot to start getting working on. It's back to work for you guys here on the YouTube channel. And uh, had a blast at Evo, but now it's back to work. Let's get uh, let's get going on everything. Like I, I have uh, all, I have edited stuff that I'm still working on. I'm still working on my Road to Killer. I've got to get back to working on that. I've got a bunch of other things to get going, and then we got to do the streaming and everything like that to go along with it. So, uh, with that being said, uh, with that being said. I thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the content for the rest of the week, and have a great, uh, great week ahead.